So now we're going to focus on special angles, which we know as 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees, and 90 degrees. So the most important thing is to know or memorize special angles without having to use them in a calculator when you solve your problems in uh, your equations of math, right? So what we're going to do now, we're going to use fan diagram, which will help us to establish the coordinates of these special angles. So we're going to draw a Cartesian plane and then draw our angles starting from the smallest, which is 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees, and 90 degrees there, with 0 degrees. Then now, the most important thing is we're going to draw or we, we're going to establish the coordinates of these points here, of each and every special angle you will identify its coordinates. So let's start at 90. The x coordinate of 90, we're going to root it, we're going to start at 0. And then the x coordinate of 60, it's root of 1. The x coordinate of 45 is the root of 2. The x coordinate of 30 is the root of 3, while the x coordinate of 0 degrees is root of 4. And then the y coordinate of 0 degrees will start at 0. The y coordinate of 30 degrees is going to be 1. The y coordinate of 45 is going to be 2. The y coordinate of 60 being 3. While the y coordinate of 90 being 4. So the most important thing is. Let's write down the coordinates of these special angles. So let's start at 0 degrees. So 0 degrees has coordinate of root of 4 and root of 0, which gives us 2 and 0, right? So these are our coordinates. And then now we have 30 degrees, which gives us coordinates of root of 3 and root of 1 which is root of 3 and 1 and then 45 degrees has coordinates of root of 2 and root of 2 so it doesn't change and then now we have 60 degrees which gives us root of 1 and root of 3 which will give us 1 and root of 3 and then we have 90 degrees which is root of 0 and root of 4, which will give us 0 and 2, right? So now, what we're going to do is we're going to draw triangles and plot these coordinates in those triangles. So let's start with our special angle of 30 degrees. So 30 degrees has coordinates of roots of 3 and 1, right? Meaning that your x is actually root of 3 and then your y is 1. So what is your r? So your r, we're just going to say r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared, which your x squared is root of 3 all squared. So let me write it, root of 3 all squared plus your y which is 1 all squared. So this will give you 3 plus 1, which is 4. So the root of 4 is 2. So meaning that r will be 2. Just like that. And then now, let's draw our 60 degrees triangle and its coordinates. So if you check here, the x and y coordinates which are these ones, x and y coordinates. 
So you have 1 and roots of 3, meaning that your x is equals to 1, your y is root of 3. So what is your r? So you're going to say r squared is equals to x squared plus y squared equals to what's your x? 1 squared plus what's your y? Root of 3 all squared, which is equals to 1 plus 3 is 4, root of 4 is 2, right? So your r is equal to 2. Then you're done. Then now let's establish another triangle for 45 now. So we're going to continue to use our coordinates x and y. So here we know that our coordinate is two, root of 2 and root of 2. And it's an angle of 45, right? So now, this means that your x is going to be root of 2, your y is root of 2. So what is our r? So r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared, Pythagoras. So what is our x? Root of 2, all squared, plus root of 2, all squared, giving us 2 plus 2, which is 4, giving us, so the root of 4, is 2. So which means this your r will be 2. So now we are done establishing our special angles and placing them in their respective triangles. Thank you.